Hello everyone, it is DD's Bricks here, and this is a video that some of you guys have been like, well, one of you's been waiting for Israel McGowan. Shout out to you. Uh, he's one of my friends from junior high, but he should be, but he'll be at my high school next year. Uh, speaking of which, I'm almost out of school. I forgot when my last day is, but even if I did know it, I don't want to say it because I don't want to get kidnapped or anything. <laughs> but you guys have been waiting for me to make this video. Uh, this is the mini new Avengers Quinjet from Avengers Endgame. Oh god, that light is terrible. Hang on. Okay, that's actually, this is actually better. Um, cause like, the way that the lamp works, if there's not, if there's not enough bright colors in the thing, then it will, or if there's too many bright colors, it will not work right. Like, cause like with the Venom mech and stuff, they were so big that it worked, and Venom is really, is black, so, um... But, like, with the Doc Ock set, it almost screwed up. But this one's so small that I need to have it with the flash. So, I made two changes to it. Um, on here, this gray stud with a hole through it, it was light gray, but now it's dark gray because I uh, took them off of my Spider Gwen from the Venomex set. Because uh, I, was, I was bored yesterday, so I rebuilt the Venomex set, and I realized, wait a minute, I have this piece in this color. That's amazing, because I went and looked at the normal Quinjet, and the light gray was not on it. It was actually dark gray right there, so this makes a lot more sense. Um, and pretty soon I should be making a little Avengers compound. Um, here's the bottom. So I am going to show you guys how to build this. It's just it's a little mini version of it, and you can attach like a clear stick to it and then just fly it around. Like, I was thinking of doing an Avengers Endgame trailer, and there is a shot of their new Quinjet flying away like this. And I thought maybe I could use this as that as, for that part, like make it like buy the um like if Lego makes a uh that bridge in the trailer and then like do this for the trailer like that. <clears throat> so I could do something like that and so this is just an end game. I wish this would have made be made been made into an end game poly bag because the Iron Man and Dumb E poly bag is it's okay, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But I am gonna get it. Um, and then I heard that the Spider-Man Far From Home sets are releasing April 22nd, which is what I'm really hoping for. Uh, if my voice sounds different, I'm looking at my shelf right now. The Age of Ultron sets are still missing things. I haven't been able to buy anything else because I'm currently saving up money for. The Endgame and Multiman. Okay, I already told you guys my plan. I'm going to buy the Multiman set before I go to the Lego store. And then I'm going to save up tax so then I can get basically four out of the five Endgame sets and the other two Far From Home sets. And then I'm going to get, um, and then I have like $18 left over for tax on the sets at the Lego store. But, um, I'm actually spending that in my grandma's tonight and Aquaman comes out today, so... I, um, am hoping that I can also get an Endgame set tomorrow. Yes, this is Saturday. Um, I went and watched Dumbo on Friday, and then I stayed over at my cousin's house for a little bit. Uh, so then I got home really late. Okay, so, and I know I had promised you guys yesterday, but I couldn't change anything, really. And Dumbo was a good movie. But, but it hurt, so. Oh, it was just my little brother. <clears throat> uh, so yeah. Let's just get on to the build tutorial with this, because I think I've been talking too much.
Okay guys, so that's the build tutorial for my mini LEGO Avengers Endgame Quinjet. Um, <clears throat> and the reason that I'm making a video about this, first of all, anyways, is because, one, this is all I'm going to have for the Endgame Quinjet for a while, because the actual Avengers Endgame Quinjet set is $80, and when I go to the LEGO store, I'm only going to be able to get... Um, four out of the five endgame sets. Well, actually, I might be only getting three because if I can get the Captain America set early, because that one's only like 20 bucks, then that will be off the checklist. But the, the $20 left over from that will be put towards the Quinjet. Actually, no. No, because that money will be used for the, to fix and to finish the Age of Ultron sets. The only Age of Ultron set that doesn't miss, that isn't missing any pieces is the Avengers Tower so I could do a video on that and alternative build and all that stuff, but I don't want to right now. I want to do them in a specific order. I want to do big, smallest to biggest. So Iron Man vs. Ultron set, then the um, the uh, like the Hawkeye card set, like the Hydra card showdown, um, then the Hulkbuster Smash set, the Hydra Fortress showdown. The, um, I don't really know, because I put them on my shelf because of their size, but I want to go by price, basically. So, like, the cheapest to the most expensive, and so far, um, the Iron Man vs. Ultron was, like, $13, the Hawkeye said was 20 the Hulkbuster was, like, 30 yeah, and then the Hydra Fortress Smash was 40 and then Avengers Tower was 60 and then the Quinjet was 80. So, but my Quinjet and Avengers Tower are in the wrong order. Like, the Avengers Tower's here, and then the Quinjet's here, and then the cheaper sets are here. So they need to be flipped around, but... Yeah, so for now, this is all you're gonna get of the Endgame Quinjet. But if you have any other requests for, like, mini Endgame stuff, just let me know. Or any mini builds, period, at all. Alright, so, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.